Ferry, the host of USA Live. And it is Thursday here and Thursday there, but it's not just any old Thursday, it's Comedy Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> That was like the vacuum cleaner laugh. You know, that, that was like my grandmother laughs like that. The, you know, and like my dad has the speed bump laugh. You know, the sort of. Uh, uh, but that was the vacuum cleaner. Laugh. Right. Yeah. This man who's laughing with us now is Jim David. He's the funniest man you never heard of. I've heard of you, but you have? how come the rest of the folks haven't? Because they haven't heard of me. Because I haven't got my own television show. Oh. Maybe because I don't want one. Why? Because. You know, it's like, uh, who wants national fame and millions of dollars? Who wants that? <laughs> I prefer obscurity and boredom and no life. I actually enjoy that. <laughs> You're fine. I'm, I'm on drugs. I came, I, I came into this room. I came into this building. You know, it's a very dark building downstairs. Yes. And I immediately felt a wave of fatigue. Did you feel that when you came into the building? Yes. And then I said, can I have some coffee? And they gave me this coffee that has crack in it <laughs> and so I'm like uh, I feel like I've done a drug I mean like I'm a former hippie I did drugs back when they were healthy <laughs> <laughs> the only time I ever did LSD I was at Disney World I didn't go there <laughs> It came to me. <laughs> I was Snow White. <laughs> you know, one, of, one of our writers was talking to you, Adam, and, and you two are from the same time. You're from the South, but you live in New York From now. Western North Carolina originally, yeah, right? Major White Trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't, that's derogatory, I'm sorry. Trash de Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> What's the transition like to New York? What? What's the transition like for, to, for you to New York? The transition? Yes. It was great. I just came and I said, okay, I'm here. <laughs> it was great. It was like, okay, fine. Yeah, that and, was it. And, and, and no, no adjustment. No none. adjustment. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Very boring. Yeah, no adjustment. No. No. Now, I I've heard... lived here for half my life. Oh, really? So the medication's starting to wear off. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that you've had like all kinds of wacky jobs. What is this I hear about you being trapped in a convent and being held at gunpoint? I used to do singing telegrams back when I had no life. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's like, oh, yes. I, you probably came to my house, yes. I did singing telegrams. I had to dress up as a chicken or a pink gorilla and go places. Uh -huh. This is not funny. <laughs> And one time I was a pink gorilla and I went to a convent in Queens and the, it, was a, it was a big party where these nuns were tending bar and they were serving liquor to all the like 200 people that were dancing at this convent and I said to this one sister, I said, what are you, I mean you're serving liquor and she said, well if we didn't no one would come. <laughs> and then I did a, a singing telegram as a pink gorilla and then I asked where the bathroom was and she said over there and I went in the wrong door and I went into a closet. <laughs> and got stuck there for like two hours <laughs> in my pink gorilla suit. What was the song you sang? What was the song? Yes. The song went, um, Would you like to know why I'm here? Well, I'm here because it's your birthday. Oh, don't bring it up. <laughs> God. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, there's one of those parts of your life that you just want to go, let's not Let's not go back there because it's like there, but for the grace of God. Right, right. You know, and, and then, of course, I tell my parents that I'm going to be a singing chicken, and then my mother says, well, you'd be a good chicken. <laughs> oh, no. And then, like, thank you. Is your mom very supportive of you in comedy? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. It was like I've, I've now gotten a letter from her attorney that says I am not to talk about her in the act anymore. Because I used, to, I used to do a joke a long time ago where I said, and it was just a joke, it wasn't true. And I said, I, it, was, it was just a joke where I said I went home to North Carolina and saw my mom and my dad sitting in the nude in the dark on a dirty mattress by the mobile home, smoking Hawaiian scents and swigging Thunderbird. And dad says to mom, you know, honey, it don't get no better than this. <laughs> and, and I did it. I did it on television. On, yeah. I think I did it on MTV or something. Uh -huh. And then my mother called me the next day and she said, I don't mind you telling people that we're white trash. I don't even mind you saying I was a waitress. But when you tell the whole country that I am sitting naked by a trailer. <laughs> and I said, well,